How to use you learn AI. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use you learn AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on you learn AI, you can also use my affiliate link below the description or earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is you learn AI, it is an online educational platform that leverages artificial intelligence to deliver a personalized adaptive learning experiences in which it is designed to support both students and educators offers a wide range of interactive courses assessments and study tools tailored to individual learning styles and progress so you can simply search on google you learn.ai and click the first link that come up then you will be directed on this page in which from it will show you the other overview of this and you can click the get started button on the top right to simply sign up using your google account in here or using your email address and entering your password after signing in you will automatically be directed on this page or this you learn dashboard it will show you the upload the pace and also the record option in here and below it will show you the new spaces by clicking the plus button you can create a new space by entering here the title and also a description of the space well, alternatively, you could also click the left side panel, the three lines, in which by clicking on it, you should be able to see here some other sub options to choose from. We have here the create a space and also the help and tool section. In order to click this Chrome extension, by clicking on it, you should be directed on the page of Chrome Web Store where you can add this ULearn app to your extension. So you can simply pin on the top right corner and use it directly. But now going back to this page right here, we can now start using it by clicking either upload, paste, or record button. But I'm going to choose to upload here or simply paste the link in here about AI. So just click the paste button and just simply paste here the link and click the add button to proceed. Or you can also add your notes in here. By clicking on it, it will show you in here that your data that has been entered is now being processed. So you should be able to see here the summary of your link to just input or paste. And also you can simply select all of this if you want to. Or alternatively on the right side panel, you can ask anything or question regarding the sources that you just input. For example, I'm going to enter here, what is AI? Then you should be able to see the answer coming from the sources in here. And moving on, you can also choose here the kind of artificial intelligence such as Gemini, 2.5 Plus, ChatGPT, Claude 4, and many more. And even click the Learn button to proceed. But as you can see, we have now successfully have here the answer about this question. But moving on below here, you can even upload a file or simply upload a media in here. And now using the sources that we just input about AI, you could also click the flashcard button if you want to test yourself with your active recall as an option or even a fast review and in those options i'm going to choose for example this fast review and as you can see below it will be able to generate the flashcard and when you try to click on it on the question you should be able to see the corresponding answer you'd also proceed to the next flashcard in order to answer some of the following question and it will show you the following sources in here or word answer of the specific question get from the sources that you just input in here so it will show you that it is located on the page 3 so you can simply scroll to the page 3 and you should be able to see here the answer so when you try to collect this page 3 you will be able to be directed in here then you could also hide the explanation if you want to you could also try the other flashcard question if you want to in here moving on to the quizzes aside from flashcard it is also the same process in which it will be able to create the quizzes, but in here you have the preferences to choose either multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, and even either easy, medium, or hard. And click generate button. And once done, you should be able to see here the quizzes. For example, this quiz one. When clicking on it, you should be able to see here the following quiz that you need to answer based on the sources. So example, I'm going to just hear what distinguishes an AI agent from traditional chatbots in terms of autonomy. I'm going to click, for example, letter A as my answer, and it will show you that my answer is correct, and below is the explanation for it. 
in the sources which is located on page 3 in here as you can see. So basically, using this platform you learn AI, you can start creating a quizzes, a flashcard, and as a student, it will help you to review for your upcoming examinations, while for educators, it will help them to start creating a question for the test using the sources that they just input in here. In which the importance of this you learn AI lies in its ability to revolutionize traditional education through personalized and data-driven learning. So as you can see with your different kind of category of either flashcard quizzes and even the summary of the whole content in which it can simplify the process of learning for the student and also for the professionals or educators in here. You'd also click the notes if you want to start adding notes in here by typing these commands. You can create here or enter a headings, a title and many more. Now going back on this page aside from that, if you also want to download this PDF, you can click this download icon right here. Or even click this one if you want to start closing the window. And by searching this, it will show you that you can search anything on the document. For instance, I'm going to search developers in here. And it will show us the result of the context with the developers including on it. Moving on, on the left side panel by clicking the three lines, you'd also go to your settings option if you want to navigate some other things about your profile and you should be able to see here all of your streak contents you have been created and many more and by clicking the pricing option it will show you some of the pricing plan that they offer we have here the pre-plan the pro plan and the team plan which is custom with its corresponding price and also benefits including on each plan you have here the option to pay monthly yearly and many more and now going back to our page in here or home page aside from uploading using the link you could also use and upload a youtube link or video for example this one here as an example by clicking on it you should be able to see here the result we have here the video and the transcript of it it is divided into different kind of chapters as you can see in here and on the right side panel we can start creating a flashcard for it a quizzes with a corresponding answer that will help us to start understanding or simplify the process of knowing or learning what's the video all about you could also manage the flashcard including the title or the question also in here the term and the definition of it so basically we have here the option or the power to simply create our own or personalize it in here you could also personalize the summary the quizzes with its corresponding preferences that you can also choose from and by clicking this upload button on the top right you can share it or copy this shareable public link to share with other people your learnings. So basically using this platform, artificial intelligence adapts to each learner's pace, strengths and weaknesses making it education more effective and engaging. In which from here it will help students master concept faster by focusing on areas that need improvement while also allowing teachers to track progress and tailor instruction accordingly. And overall that is just basically how you can use ULEARN AI. Thank you.